Has your doctor advised you to undergo a thyroid surgery? Are you afraid and worried about the thyroid surgery? Do you have any questions about the surgery in your mind whose answers you are seeking for? If yes, then stay tuned with me because we are going to discuss that in our today's topic. Namaste. My name is Dr. Tanvi Mayur Patel. I am an endocrinologist, hormone specialist doctor from Mumbai, India. By the way, today's topic is a part of our series of the videos which I have made on a thyroid surgery. Plenty many people have asked me plenty many questions. So I thought let me just make a video format and answer these questions so everyone can get benefit out of it. All right. So let's find out what are those questions. Now one important information before we begin this video is that if you want to watch this video in Hindi language then on the i button and in the description box there is a link. If you click on that link then this video will be played in Hindi language for you. अगर आप इस वीडियो को हिंदी भाषा में देखना चाहते हैं तो ऊपर i बटन पे और नीचे डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में एक लिंक है अगर आप उस लिंक पे क्लिक करेंगे तो इस वीडियो को आप हिंदी भाषा में पाएंगे राइट सी थायराइड सर्जरी इज वन ऑफ द वेरी कॉमन वेरी पॉपुलर एंड वेरी इफेक्टिव सर्जरी फॉर द थायराइड इश्यूज ओके बट पीपल हैव लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस रिगार्डिंग दैट सो लेट्स आंसर देम वन बाय वन so let me take the first question and that is doctor is thyroid surgery is a major surgery answer is yes see thyroid surgery is considered as a major surgery because the surgery is performed under the general anesthesia it is not a regular surgery okay second question is that how many hours is needed in the thyroid surgery See, usually it takes around two to four hours, but again the duration of the surgery depends on a case to case. It depends whether we are going to remove only a small part of your thyroid gland or your entire thyroid gland. Whether do you have any other complications? Now, especially complications during the surgery, what we call it as a intraoperative complications. Okay, then also surgery can be delayed. It also depends that if what kind of a technique we are using for the surgery. Okay, whether we are using the conventional thyroidectomy or in latest advanced technique. So based on that, the duration of the surgery varies. Also, people who have a thyroid cancer, many times you also have to remove the lymph nodes. So the duration of the surgery further increases, but more or less it takes around two to four hours. Okay. Next question is that: Is thyroid surgery is it a difficult? Now difficult for whom? I have to ask that. See. Thyroid surgery is not considered as a difficult surgery. If you talk about from a patient point of view, yes, before surgery, many people are apprehensive and anxious about it. So psychologically, it can be difficult for few people. Okay. Uh, another point is that uh, uh, operation itself is not a difficult. However, uh, operating surgeon has to take care of plenty many things, and because those microscopic anatomy is very important, so that is the reason why uh, it takes little more time to perform the surgery, and that is the reason why we always advise that if a skilled surgeon is there, the operation becomes very easy and it doesn't become difficult. Again, when we talk about from patient point of view, during the surgery, we are going to give you the general anesthesia, so you will not be even aware of the surgical procedure. You will not experience any kind of a pain. And after once you recover from the anesthesia, the medications are prescribed, the sedative medicines and the painkillers. So that also reduces the pain. So overall, it is not a actually a painful or a difficult procedure. In short, I can say that. Next question: Is it a painful? So see, when the operation is performed, you will not be aware of the surgical pain because of the anesthetic effect. And after that, the painkiller medicines uh, take care of it, so it is no, does not become a that painful procedure. Next question is that: Can you live life without a thyroid gland? Answer is absolutely yes. See, once we remove your entire thyroid gland, your body will go into a state of a hypothyroidism, wherein your body does not have a sufficient thyroid hormones, and that can be very easily replaced by a hormonal medications. So yes, definitely you can live a life after the thyroid surgery. Next question is that 
what is life after thyroid removal see life after thyroid removal is a very pretty much normal only thing is that you'll have to keep a close monitoring on your thyroid hormone you will have to take a thyroid replacement therapy you will also have to have a close monitoring on your calcium vitamin d and a pth hormone otherwise it does not become that difficult life is pretty much fine and comfortable next question does thyroid removal shorten the life expectancy answer is no see again it depends for what condition your surgery was performed if it was performed for a thyroid cancer where it was already metastasized then of course it is difficult to say about the life expectancy and the prognosis again it depends on what kind of a thyroid cancer you have so uh, it is difficult to so in that kind of a scenario but yes if it is just a goiter whose removal is done then your life expectancy does not reduce after the surgery okay next question is uh, do you gain weight after the surgery see uh, some people do gain weight because their body goes in a hypothyroidism but at what extent of the hypothyroidism again that is a question but usually this weight gain is usually settled once your thyroid comes into the control and a euthyroid state so weight gain does not happen that much next question how many days will i have to stay in the hospital see in ideal situation one to two days is sufficient enough but again it depends on case to case it depends on your general overall health whether are you having any complications after the surgery in that case the stay can be prolonged again nowadays we do have a certain latest advanced techniques by which we can do the surgery even as a day care procedure wherein you come in the hospital in the morning and take a discharge from the hospital by end of the day so uh, stay in the hospital is again very very individual to individual next question uh, can you talk after the surgery yes you can talk after the surgery but what happens after the surgery many people find that their voice has changed they find it difficult to talk they have a hoarseness of the voice they feel tired after the talking so we usually advise initially for few days you restrict your talk to bare minimum uh, and important things but yes later on you can have a regular talk no problem with that next question do you get catheter during surgery now which catheter i didn't understand so see usually there are two kinds of the catheters pertaining to the thyroid surgeries are used one is a urinary catheter so if your health permits then you might need a urinary catheter wherein a tube will be inserted into your urethra which makes it easy for you to pass urine okay and the second kind of the catheter is you applied at the incision so where the incision was taken a small tube was attached and at the end of the tube there is a small bulb like structure so this tube uh, collects all the blood and uh, excess of the tissue fluid gets eventually passed from this tube and gets collected into the bulb so yes uh, some kind of a catheter is used at the incision next question will i be conscious or unconscious during the surgery now since the surgery is done under general anesthesia you will be in a state of a unconsciousness next question how many days i need to take a leave from my office again it's a very very difficult question to answer but maximum i can say one to two week you can take a leave from your office and so that you recover well and when you resume your work you are in a better state of your health next question will it leave a scar mark answer is again it depends on the type of the procedure performed if it is done by conventional thyroidectomy yes there will be a scar mark which will be seen in the center of your neck area but if it is done by transoral or robotic route then you may not have a scar mark visible on your neck okay next question can your thyroid grow back answer is no see thyroid is not a regenerative organ like your liver which is going to grow back so it will not grow back again next is uh, can a goiter grow back after thyroidectomy see goiter is nothing but the enlargement of the thyroid gland so if your entire thyroid gland was removed what about total thyroidectomy then there is no point of 
goiter coming again. But if a small part of the thyroid gland is still intact and there can be a issue which is not resolved, then yes, goiter can come back. So it is very dicey question to answer. But in total thyroidectomy, no. In partial thyroidectomy, maybe. Next question. Does thyroid removal causes mood swings? See, mood swings pertaining to the surgery are of two ways. First is a before the surgery. So before the surgery, people are anxious, people are worried, apprehensive about the surgery. So those anxiety kind of a mood changes do happen. And once you undergo the surgery, your thyroid gland is removed. When you go in the hypothyroid state, many people experience depression and a low mood. Again, this improvises once you recover your uh, hypothyroid state to a normal thyroid state. So mood swings can happen, yes. Next question, what is the most serious complication of the thyroidectomy? See, thyroidectomy can have a plenty many complications. What all complications can happen? I have made a separate video on that. You can watch that video and I have spoken in depth about it. But if you talk about the serious complication, then complications like a bleeding from the uh, incision, then a thyroid storm, hypocalcemia, an infection these are few complications which can be life-threatening and which can be challenging if not treated on time next question is that what nerve can get damaged during the surgery see uh, around your thyroid gland we have a very important gland uh, very important nerve called as a recurrent laryngeal nerve this nerve is very important for our normal voice production so during the surgery, due to the close proximity anatomy of this nerve with the thyroid gland, the damage to this nerve is quite possible. Okay. Uh, next question, how long does it take to get voice back after the thyroid removal? Usually few weeks it takes for you to completely get your voice back on a track. Next question, is a thyroid surgery life threatening? See, answer is in a today's time, answer is no. But again, it depends on your overall health. So if you have a thyroid cancer where your overall health is very, very, uh, you know, delicate, then it can possible that it can be life threatening. But otherwise, usually no. See, in the olden times, there you at that time, we didn't have a good uh, operation surgical skills. We didn't have a good anesthesia, good uh, antibiotics. The sterile environment was not there. So the mortality rate was very high. But in today's time, the scenario has changed. We have a latest advanced techniques. So, so many things are easily available. So the mortality rate in today's time is a very, very less. Okay. Next question is, what do you monitor during the thyroid surgery? See, during the surgery, uh, when you will be under the general anesthesia effect, your heart rate, your blood sugar, your respiratory rate, your oxygen saturation, everything is closely monitored. Once we finish your thyroid surgery, we also monitor your calcium level, your uh, vitamin D level, your magnesium level, because those problems can also happen. After the surgery, we also monitor whether do you have active bleeding or not. And once the operation is done and you are discharged and you are completely fine, after that we again monitor your thyroid hormone status to know whether you are going in hypothyroid or not. So the monitoring is a different at a different, different stage of the surgery. Next question, is thyroid surgery a bloody surgery? Now, I mean that you mean to ask is there is a blood flow. So see, uh, eventually it is a surgery. So some amount of the blood loss is possible. But usually this blood loss is not that significant which needs a blood transfusion. But again, if you have any kind of a bleeding disorders, then yes, the blood loss can be variable. Okay. Uh, next question is that how can one avoid damage to the nerve? See, uh, avoiding the damage to the nerve is unfortunately not in you as a patient's hand. It is completely in control of the operating surgeon. That is the reason why when you have a skilled and experienced surgeon, the chance of the nerve damage is less. 
also nowadays we do have a specialized nerve monitoring which can be used uh, during the surgery so that chances of the damage is very very minimum next question does your voice change after thyroidectomy answer is yes see invariably after the surgery people experience uh, change in their voice they have a hoarseness of voice they have a difficulty in talking they get tired they get pain while talking but usually this vanishes off within few weeks and after that you will be completely fine unless and until there is a cutage, cutting of the uh, recurrent laryngeal nerve is what we call it a traction of the nerve then or it gets paralyzed then yes voice change can be even a permanent right next question is that how should i sleep after the thyroid surgery so usually after the thyroid surgery you should keep your body position at 30 to 45 degree or else you can keep a two pillows and beneath your head so that will be a comfortable position another question is that is it okay to cough after the thyroid surgery see what happens after the surgery many people experience change of their voice they feel tired when they talk and they also have a mild irritation in the throat area and this can also lead into cough so it is completely fine this usually goes away within few days and not to worry all right i hope after watching this video you got lot of questions and their answers you think that if you still have any question in your mind whose answer you are seeking for please write your question below in the comment box i try to read them and answer them as early as i can and if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe so that you get more health related information so that you can take care of yourself in a better way there is a bell icon if you click there as and when my new video will be published you will get an instant notification we will meet again with some new good useful information till then take care of yourself namaste